When you do your splits, you've got to be inside it. <laughs> okay, I'll try. <laughs> Dude, I can't play Ren's a cheerleader. <laughs> she needs it for a resume or something to show she has school superior. Miss Morgan, our new advisor will be here any minute. And it is important that we show her cheerleaders just don't say things, they scream things, right, girls? <laughs> Alright, yelling. I, I got it. Everyone is Miss Morgan. <laughs> Who's that? I don't know, some lady. Morgan! We Morgan! Girls, that was wonderful. Oh, thank you. You are so sweet. Oh. Oh, I love the smell of pom-poms. Thank you. Um, you know, this is my first day too, and if all if you're half as nervous as I am, believe me. <sighs> Miss Morgan, can I borrow Miss Chatty Pants here? are the most beautiful one I've ever seen in my life. And if it's okay with you, I'd like to do an interpretive dance. <sighs> that, that was great, but I have to go. Girls, now show me what you got. One, two, our team, yeah, is out of sight. At the top, we will unite. Come on, crowd, help us out. Go green, green, yellow, go. Go, green and go. Oh my gosh, Kenny. Oh, are you okay, Kenny? Give him, give me. That's, that's it. That's it. That's the third time this week. I quit. I quit. No, quit. quit. No. Thank you so much for volunteering to be the mascot. You know, we were looking for someone with school spirit, and here you are. Well, go on, Bass. <laughs> now, you can do cartwheels, round offs, backflips. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm very bendy. In fact, there was this one time where I scrunched myself into this little ball and got my dad's filing cabinet. Ah. Uh. Louis, you're perfect. So are you. I am so glad that we found each other. Now, when you put on that wombat suit, I want you to really go for it. You know, my sense is, Louis, that you are a very passionate person. I am? Mm -hmm. And I don't want you to be afraid to unleash that side of you. You know, go a little crazy, take chances. And Louis, if you ever have any questions or if you need anything, my door is always open. Mm -hmm. What is that noise? Oh, uh, uh, it's probably something outside. I'll go take care of it. Liz, you, you stole the wombat suit again? You should have told me. I would have done it with you. Okay, mascots are so annoying. You know what, actually, um, I'm the mascot. Get out of here. <laughs> yes, I'm the mascot, it's true. <laughs> is this some kind of joke? Is this, is this punishment or something? You know, it's a long story. Um, it's just something I have to do, okay? Well, are we still going to Dell's after school to get pizza? Um, I have mascot practice. Well, then tomorrow. It's Big Pie Friday. <laughs> All right, I'll see you there. Later. Oh. <laughs> Rian, can we talk to you? Sure. What's up? Well... We're really glad that you're a cheerleader. Yeah. <laughs> your uniform is always clean and your sneaks are always double knot. <laughs> what's your attitude, Will? Oh, what's wrong with my attitude? Ren, you're a cheerleader now. You've got to dig deep down inside and find your perky place. <gasps> my, my perky place. Ready? Yeah. Okay! T-E-R-K-Y B Perky B Perky! 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 <laughs> Ren, you 
have to live, Perky. Breathe, Perky. Be Perky. You can do that, right, Finn? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Ah! I can be Perky. Look, I'm gonna be Perky. Perky! <laughs> Okay, ran all the way here. What's your emergency? Great, sir. What are you doing? I don't want anybody to hear what I'm about to tell you, okay? Twitty, I'm in love with Miss Morgan. You mean, like, you think she's cool? No, dude, no, no, no. Do you hear what I said? I'm in love with her. I'm in love, Twitty. I'm in love. See, every time I see her, my heart starts racing, right? And my palms get sweaty, and my stomach does these flip-flop things. I wish you could be what I am. It feels very good. Hey, maybe just say it's a bad bean dip. No, I didn't have bad bean dip. Listen. According to Romance for Boneheads, I have the classic symptoms of a man in love. Dude, this is all kind of freaky. Love is freaky. Chapter 12. Read that. You know what else I do? I jump on my bed every five minutes. When I'm in love, you, you just do it. It's in... Look, you just go. You see, like that. <laughs> Twitty, this girl's perfect. She's beautiful. She's right for me. And... And I think we make a fun couple, you know? Hey! Sorry we're late, we couldn't find parking. Oh. Oh. Well, we're still a little jet-lagged from our trip to the Bahamas. <laughs> How was that? I bet it was beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful. We went snorkeling, that was beautiful. Oh, and we ate local hot dogs. <laughs> it was jamming mine! <laughs> oh, you two are a fun couple. <laughs> Your bacon's dangling. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, she's been doing that a lot lately. So, what's your next move? Make her fall in love with me. How? Step one. Show I'm dedicated to my new job. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mascot boot camp. Yeah. Hmm. You're actually signed up for this. Twitty. She makes me want to be a better mascot. Well... What about Tawny, dude? You guys have been hanging together a long time. Oh, don't worry about Tawny. No, no, no. I thoroughly explained everything to her. She totally understands. I can't hang out with you anymore! Tweety, let's face it. Tawny's great, right? But she's a little girl. Now, see, Miss Morgan. Miss Morgan. Well, she is a woman. And I am a man. Very good, Ren. Now you tell the rest of the class how you arrived at your answer. Okay, ready? X, Y, four, I'll tell you more. Quadrant, times variable, a shim, sham, shimmy. Go seven, go seven, I like to eat chop suey. I'm Ren, I'm right, I'm feeling kind of perky. Kicking and clapping, I'll do the herky turkey. Yeah, algebra! Woo! Moving on. Twitty, um, can I ask you a question? What's up with Lewis? What do you mean? I don't know, he's just, he's been acting really weird lately and he keeps blowing me off. Oh, uh, Lewis, he's just going through a difficult phase right now and he's taking a little time to get his head together. What, you mean he actually took my advice and got some therapy? Kinda, uh, he's going to mascot boot camp. I give up. You will be going through the hardest, the most difficult, but the most meaningful training in your very little life. The basic booty shake. Come on, baby, shake your booty. Jump on you are faking, mascot. Let's see you sizzle. Now you you're pathetic. Right okay, I got a big spatula. I'm going to flip you to the other side. Sizzle, that's good.
Sorry, sir. No, I no, was... sit, sit down, sit down, son. I want to talk to you. You know, I've seen him come and I've seen him go. You're really something special. Well, thank you, sir. Stay here. What is that? It's a jetpack. March 24th, 1979. Flew this baby around a stadium in front of 75,000 screaming people. I want you to have it. Wait, 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 I don't understand. You're giving me your jetpack? You earned it. I worked you hard today, but you took everything I threw at you. You're gonna be a great mascot. Thank you, sir. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Be gentle with him. Excuse me. Lewis, what are you doing here so early? I had this great news, so I wanted to catch you before class started. Oh, I love your enthusiasm. You are so sweet. You're so sweet. And 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 perfect. And I mean that. But, but that's not what I, what I came here for. What I came here was to tell you that Wacky Walter gave me his jetpack. Jetpack? And, and today at gym, I'm gonna fly around. I'm gonna do it at pet rally. It's gonna be cool. Now, I just want you to be careful. I don't want anything to happen to you. <laughs> Lewis, you're not blinking. No, I'm not staring at your one eyebrow. I haven't had a chance to shave it yet. Oh, you shave it, do you? Oh, I have to. It grows like crabgrass. <laughs> <laughs> it runs in my family. The Morgan Unibrow. <laughs> Ooh, I have to remember to clean this thing out more often. You know what? Uh, I, I have to uh, go back to my class because I'm in a hurry, a, a hurry, a furry. I got breakfast spirit. Yes, I do. I got breakfast spirit. How about you? I got breakfast spirit. Uh, honey, come here first. What? 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 Right. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Honey, your mother and I have been talking, and frankly, we're worried about you. We've noticed that lately you've been excessively upbeat. Thanks. I found my perky place. Honey. We think maybe you're on overperk. Well, what do you mean? I mean, Ren, this morning, honey. Every time the phone rang, you cheered. You cheered when the mail came. You even cheered for your laundry. You're exaggerating, Daddy. Am I? Bleach, detergent, this laundry's gonna rock. Fabric, softer, dryer, sheet, hey, where's my other sock? Oh, okay, yeah, let's go, let's go, team! Why didn't you guys tell me before? Woo! We thought you'd cheer us. I have to resign as mascot. Really? Why? Because I'm sweating in my suit and my doctor says I'm developing a chafing disorder. Fight. Excuse me. Whoa. Wait a minute, Lewis. I have a hunch that there's something else going on here. Listen, the truth is, is that I never wanted to be the mascot, OK? The only reason I even came in your office was because I wanted to hang out with you. Hang out with me? Well, actually, more than that. Yesterday, I went window shopping. I went to go buy you fancy shoes. It's something I would never do. <laughs> and, and I know this may sound crazy, but I thought you were perfect. And then this morning in your office, you, you, you cut it off. <laughs> you know, no one's perfect, Louis. Yeah, I realize that. <laughs> hey, don't worry, kiddo. I'm sure you're going to find somebody who's just right for you. <laughs> I found her, but I, I think I messed that up, too. Hey, Tawny, Tawny, I, um, I wanted to let you know that that whole wombat thing I did, that's over, and I don't know, maybe we could go get something to eat. Look, Lewis, I don't care if you're a wombat. 
Or a turkey. Or a jackass. You stood me up and you blew me off. Now leave me alone. Remember, girls, this is a pep rally, so let's get off their pets and stop them! And what if I don't feel peppy? Brian, it's not about how you feel. It's about what those people out there expect of us. They need us. For what? It's meaningless. It's pep for pep's sake. The brakes on their rin. Are you saying our life is just pointless perkiness? Girls, look at it this way. Do you think by our kicking and our clapping that we're gonna do anything meaningful? Are, are we gonna end world hunger or, or bring peace among the nations? We're all living a lie. <laughs> Wombats are in control. <laughs> yeah, go team, right? We're number one. <laughs> Woo, okay, all right, uh, okay. Uh, well, that was an interesting cheer. Uh, so, um, let's try something new, okay? Uh, Dude, your ex-girlfriend throws one lousy pep rally. I know. Wave! Okay, ready? Everybody? Ready? Woo! Woo! Okay, let's try it over here on this side. Spinal replacement. Do you want me to get Nurse Phil? No, no, Tony, don't leave. To tell you something. What? You have the two most beautiful eyebrows I've ever seen. as a person and now, but... Yeah? We don't think you're cut out to be a tea leader. You think too much. Y yeah, I guess I do. <laughs> but one thing I have been thinking about is what a great job you guys do keeping everyone's spirits up. <laughs> um, I'm really gonna miss you guys. Oh my God. She's going! Bye-bye!